Hello family, welcome back. You guys may have noticed there's these interesting creatures roaming around, depending on where you're at, known as cicadas. And these things have always intrigued me since I was a little child, finding their exoskeletons. And these things, they have some really cool things that they do, aside from just leaving their exoskeleton everywhere, which is what I thought was cool, because you can put that on your friends and scare them. But they are terrifying looking things. However, I found out they have some properties that I have yet to ever hear of with any other organism. And so I wanted to share that with you because these things are more than just noisemakers. They are masterful calendar keepers and they keep time underground. It would be like keeping time in a coffin. Imagine trying to do that for an exact period of time. That's what these things do. And then they resurrect, come out of the ground and make all the noise you're hearing now. But one thing that's really cool about them is they actually have, the female anyways, has a metal body structure. And it's the mother's, their ovipositor, which is essentially a big word for the baby ejector, I guess you would call it. It is shooting out babies and drilling a hole into a tree limb. And I was wondering how this thing would drill into the tree limb the way that it does. And so... The answer to that question is, it's made out of metal. So three different types of metals. You can look that up. That is not something we were taught in school. And it definitely doesn't seem like something that the traditional method of teaching cell division would account for. DNA replication, all of that stuff. Making metallic body parts didn't seem like that was part of the curriculum. So I wanted to pass that along. These things are miraculous creatures they provide a food source like you wouldn't believe to all sorts of different types of organisms and they do so in a way again that is like a calendar they come out every 13 years or every 17 years just depending on what species they are some it's different so uh check these things out if you see them don't be afraid they don't bite now that metallic ovipositor i don't know if they ever decided to use that against us might be a different story but uh i look forward to exploring things like this in our intro to intelligent design or biological design classes here coming up in August. But some fascinating things with life and just look at the symmetry of these wings and how masterfully they are made and designed. Spectacular.